Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to port forward Rustle Warfare. What you can see here that this thing here where it says close, this will show you it shows you that your, your host in your own game is closed so no one won't be able to join. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make sure that says open. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go into my router let it load and I'm using a BT Hub 4 your, your router might be different so it might be a different layout on the actual internet so it should be similar but it could be in different places so I'm going to log in go into my settings Going to port forward, port there. Sorry, port forward, forwarding. So, if you want BT like me, you should you should go on to uh, settings and port forwarding. What you see here is um, a list of things. So since I've already done this before, I'm just going to put it down. You should see what's the warfare. There we go. The warfare. So I select device, but since this is not, since I can't do it on here, because usually there is a user uh, identified IP address, since it's not on here, I will have to do it on the computer. But what you do, if you do have, if you do use a computer, you should scroll down and you'll see ident user identified IP address. You click on that. After you click on that, it will, it will give you a box. So, to get the IP, you go into your tablet settings or your phone settings. You go into your Wi-Fi and you click on Advanced. So, if you scroll down, just to make sure, some some phones and tablets are quite different. Sometimes they don't have it, sometimes they do. But right here, right here, this is what you want to add. The IPv4 address. You want to add that into your into your um, user identified IP address. So once you add that in, which I'm going to do it on my laptop right here. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, what you see here, I've added on. I've added on my laptop because since I couldn't get the actual user defined address, it's now I've got it on my laptop. You can now see the IP. Obviously, it's going to be blank for you, but it, you can see that it's on here now. So, to check if we have a if we have um if we actually if it actually worked so what we're going to do we're going to go back on to the warfare and see if it's open so it's going to take quite a bit of time to load up host game and start now what you can see here that is now open so now people will be able to join your lobby just like this person here he just joined my lobby so that's just quite easy. But um, if you see your local your local IP address, put that in in the actual the actual port forwarding. If it asks you for an IP, just use that. And obviously keep the port the same because you don't want to end up mess, messing it up. So um, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this will help you. Yeah, if I've missed anything out or you need help with it, just comment, just um, add a comment, and I'll try and help you as best as I can. Well, thank you, thank you for watching, and enjoy your. Time. Also, I forgot one more thing. If you're if you're wondering why you couldn't see Rust the Warfare, you had to. 
I had to add it manually. So I'll show you how to add it manually. So what you're going to do here is man manage games and applications. Click on that and it will show you a list of stuff. Well, for me, I'm not sure for you, but if you if you can't see it, you just click on add new game or application. So what I did, I already done this, but I gave it a name. You just so call it anything you want. As long as you can remember it, but what I did, I just call it Rustle Warfare. Rustle Warfare. Yeah, just like that. Um, since so it's already, you just put, just press no. Just press no, and and what you do, is you put in your port, your port range. So it's just going to be. The, the, for the um, normal Rustle Warfare port, it should be 5123. Just put that, and then you put U, UTCP and UTCP. I'm not sure if it was. I don't. I forgot how. I think it was the D, DUCP, whatever it's called. UDP. That's what it is. You just put it in here. Five one two three to five one two three, and you want it to translate to five one two three. If it doesn't work, then just just get rid of that, and you just keep it that, and you just add it. Obviously, whoops, I made a mistake. Actually, don't don't translate it. That was it. That was an error. Didn't mean to do that. Wow, okay, this is getting bad. Um, yeah, just do what I just said before, just put that. And there you go. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just don't do what I just did. Just put as port range, just put 5123, 5123 on the port, port range on both of them. But don't do it on translate what I just did. Okay, once you did that, you press apply. Wait to load. And now there you go, you've got it you've got it in the user identify games and applications. If 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 you didn't have that. So now thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. This time I will this is the actual real finished. So I hope you enjoy your day. Bye-bye.